Barbara Walters has won the booking war. She's come out of her six-week retirement to land the first interview with Peter Roger. That's the father of Elliot Roger, the madman whose Santa Barbara killing spree left six people dead. It is a big get for her, yeah. but for him, it's a heartbreaking reality. Coming to the stark realization that his son is a mass murderer. When I think of those young men and young women that have died, and they were injured, and were terrorized, and my son did that. The moment painfully personal, the father recalling the horrific trauma caused by his son. So many wanted to hear him. It was Barbara who got him. What is so significant about Barbara Walters getting Peter Roger is that we don't see the parent of a shooter going on air and, and telling their side of the story, especially so quickly after what happened. No doubt the competition to book Roger was fierce, but was he offered money? The Hollywood Reporter's Michael O'Connell says probably not. There are often cases where people will throw money or incentives at interview subjects to try to get them on board. Obviously not the case here. In sensitive situations like this, pledges can be made to charity. I don't think that this is a payday by any stretch of the imagination. When you wake up in the morning, what do you think? It's like a, re a reverse nightmare situation. Now I go to sleep, I might have a nice dream. And then I wake up and it's slowly, the truth of what happened dawns on me. And you know, that is that my, my son was a mass murderer. One might be surprised at Barbara taping this special edition of 2020. Didn't she just retire? They said when she retired that there were potential opportunities for her to come back and do interviews. I don't think anyone expected it to be six weeks after all of the fanfare, but it, it seems very Barbara to me. This is the most unbelievable thing, Barbara. What I don't get is we didn't see this coming at all. 